Hi guys, Mama Beach here. Welcome back to my channel. I'm here today to do a little review on a new coach bag that I just picked up. It's from one of their newest collections. This is their Dinky 18 with quilting in the color washed red. And it is in their very amazing, supple, luxurious Napa leather. And I just wanted to show you guys this bag, take you through all the features, show you what fits in this little guy. And I will show you some mod shots of what it looks like on the body so you can get an idea of the scale, strap length, and stuff like that. So first, let's do a little tour of this bag. As I mentioned, it is this super soft, supple Napa leather. It's in this beautiful new color they're doing called Wash Green. And then it has this quilting detail that's very sophisticated. It almost gives me like a little of a bit of a Chanel vibe, which I really like about it. And it has my favorite coach hardware, which is the brass hardware. Um, it has this like dimension in person where it almost looks like a little bit vintage and worn. Um, I really love their brass hardware. It looks so good with this washed green color. You can see it kind of has a puffy quality to it, the quilting, which is something that Coach is really into now. They're really playing a lot with volume and kind of puffiness. So it's very on trend for what they have been doing lately. Um, it is a definitely a wider style. So that's nice because it is so small. At least you get enough space to fit a decent amount of stuff with as wide as it is. And you can also see how much play they've given you here with the flap. So you're not having to stretch it over super tight if you really fill this thing up. You have some space here where you can really fill it and stretch the flap and it will close for you. There's no kind of back pocket, outside pocket of any kind, no feet on the bottom. It's totally um, flat on the sides and bottom, no quilting there. And then I just want to show you an up close of the beautiful hardware. They give you a leather piece in the middle of the strap, so it's nice and comfortable on the shoulder, even though it is more of a narrow strap. And you have lots of adjustability here, which is really, really nice. I would have loved if this style came with just a short chain strap. I think that would have been really smart for them to do. I know they're doing that with a lot of other styles, giving you two strap options. And I think this would look so nice with a little chain strap on it. Um, I recently picked up the um, Swinger 20 that comes with the little brass chain strap. So if I keep both of these bags, I plan to interchange the straps on them because I think they would look really cute, um, kind of mixed and matched. So let me show you the inside here, it's just there. Simple turn lock closure that they use on a lot of their bags. Um, leather interior, which is really, really nice. All full, full leather interior, which is a great value for the price. You have a little front pocket here. Now I have an iPhone 12 Pro, okay? Not a Pro Max, just a Pro, but I have a really, really thick OtterBox case on it and it would not fit into this pocket easily. I do think if I had no case on my phone or I had a really, really slim streamlined case, it would fit in here. It was close. So I think most smartphones would fit in here if you have a slimmer case. If you have a really big smartphone like the iPhone um, Pro Max or some of the Samsungs, I unfortunately, I just don't think this front pocket's going to work. Now, my phone did fit easily in the main um, pocket of the bag. So... Um, maybe some of the really, really big ones it might not, but I know my iPhone 12 Pro did fit with the big case, no problem. So I don't know that I would really use this pocket um, unless I had a like small card case that I was carrying. For example, I put this in here to show you guys what fits, but I do think it would actually fit in this front pocket, which it does. So if you had a slimmer card case, you could put that here and then you have room for your phone here and maybe I could actually fit another item if I set the bag up that way. So just something to think about. But what I put in here to show you guys for what fits is a really, really slim wallet. I wanted to save space in here because you guys know I always carry my little pouch. So I wanted to make sure I had space for that. And here's that little pouch that I always carry with my essential items. And then the other two things I fit in here are my car keys. I have a really big fob on my keys. so. Sometimes it's a little tricky fitting it in smaller bags, so it's nice that it fit easily in here. And then I have a lip product. I wanna show you guys what a full-size wallet looks like trying to go into here. So here's the full-size Louis Vuitton wallet I've been carrying. And it does kind of fit, but it's so, so tight, and it really just takes up all of the space. 
So I would definitely not recommend carrying a full size wallet with a bag this size. I also pulled out like a mid size um, wallet here that I have from Coach. It's not quite as small as my little um, St. Laurent card case, but that does fit. So if you do need to carry a wallet option that you can fit a little bit more in, I think it's definitely doable. You just might lose some space for other things. Like I can still fit my pouch in there and I can still put my car keys and my lip product back in, but I might have a little bit more trouble squeezing my smartphone in with a bigger wallet there. The other thing I wanted to show you guys is I was really struggling to fit my sunglasses in here and I know that's important to some people. So I just wanna show you like, I feel like I could maybe, they fit, but once you have all this other stuff in there, you really have to like lay them on top and squish them a little bit, which I know might make some people a little bit nervous. So it's just, yeah, it's just not, not gonna work. It's a smaller bag. You have to be conscious of what you're putting in here. Dinky 18, I mean, it says it in the name, it's dinky and it's only 18 centimeters long. So it is what it is. So let me get up and show you guys some mod shots of what this looks like on the body with some different strap lengths. All right, this is what this looks like on the longest strap setting. And honestly, it's a really generous drop. I'm five foot nine, so I have a lot of trouble finding crossbodies that aren't all the way up here on me. And this is a nice drop. It really hits me below the hip, which is where I like crossbodies to hit. And let me show you when you swing it behind what it looks like. It has a really nice, um, really luxurious look to it. I think it is giving me, honestly, the Chanel vibes. This is my Chanel mini rectangular. And honestly, I mean, clearly there's a little bit of a color difference here and a hardware difference, but in person handling them and in terms of like what fits in them, it's extremely similar. The weight of it and all of that is very similar. So let me show you what this looks like on a shorter setting. And like I showed you at the beginning of the video, they have given you a lot of holes here, which is really, really nice because sometimes you don't get a lot of variety when it comes to strap length when you only get one strap to use. So there it is on the absolute shortest setting. Let me show you what it looks like crossbody. If you're somebody who actually likes your crossbody bag to sit up higher on your body, this is what that looks like. And let me show you behind what it looks like. I'll also show you what it looks like as a long drop shoulder bag because I think it does, since it has kind of that Chanel vibe to it, you could make it read a little bit more formal and fancy, like if you were going out for the night. And I think it actually does look really nice, this length just hanging off the shoulder. It's a good uh, hip length for this um, bag. It's not hanging down too far and look awkward or anything like that. Let me steal the strap off of my... Um, off my Swinger 20 and see if I can put it on here. Okay, look how cute this is. I just stole this little brass chain shop off the Swinger 20 that I just got from the same collection. And this looks so cute like this. You could wear it up on your shoulder as like a little shoulder bag. You could wear it as like an arm carry if you were really trying to be formal and dress this up a little bit. I mean, it looks really nice with the shorter chain strap. Even though the scale of the strap is a little bit smaller, I mean, I think it just looks so cute. And I know Coach Hat can does sell their chain straps separately, so it might be something that you might want to pick up to accessorize this bag with. So that is my Dinky 18 with quilting from Coach in the color Wash Green. I really like this little bag. I think it packs a punch despite the small size. I really like the puffy quilting. The leather feels really luxurious. It does feel like it might, might scratch, kind of like a lambskin. So I would be a little cautious using it. I would probably spray it with a protectant spray, um, check it for color transfer regularly, and just try to handle it carefully. I mean, honestly, with bags like this, when they even if they do get scratched, you can condition them, and that will help a lot. But it's just not going to look perfect forever. And that's something that you need to be aware of if you decide to go with a bag like this. But it's honestly, it feels so nice and it feels so luxurious. I would definitely recommend it if you're somebody that can handle paring down your stuff and carrying a smaller style. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? Click that subscribe button and hit the little bell so you're notified of my future videos. Um, if you're here watching this and you enjoy handbags and accessories, clearly I do too. And I hope you will join me for my future videos here on my channel. All right, I'll see you guys on my next one. Bye.